everyone, Cryptonite here and welcome back to another Tectonica video. So everyone knows that building ramps up and down can be a little bit difficult and they do look a little bit janky just like this one. They seem to have a lot of flat spots. Maybe you're one of those factory game players that likes the aesthetic pleasing look and you want to learn how to build slopes and ramps as smooth as this one. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how. So first of all, let's go ahead and show you best way to get a nice smooth slope going downwards so for this one i'm going to use the 5x5 this does work on any sizes you just have to adjust accordingly so first of all what you want to do is you want to build a little entrance we'll go quite a far bit in that should be enough about there so what you want to do for going downwards so you want to find the middle of the grid that the mole produces so as you can see it's highlighting where the walls are so we just need to find the middle which is around about here and you just want to use your pickaxe for the first voxel there and then you want to move a bit further forward and do another one and you want to just head on into this and this will allow us to build down so we don't want to use the mole and it will go down and this will be the start of our slope so as we've just built this one we know where the middle is from here so we can just get our pickaxe out and we can just go just like this and we can go down again and we can use our mole and dig another one down and we can just repeat the process like this what you might want to do if you are finding it difficult to keep track of where the middle is especially when you're using the bigger sizes is you can just pop a floor down on the one before and now you know that this one is center so you can just step onto this one you can dig your hole down and the same for that one and you can just pop onto a mole and we can just go ahead and go down what you want to do is just keep repeating the process just like this you want to just keep going down more 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 and once you've repeated the process for however long you desire it should look something like this so you've got a nice smooth long slope and now i've explained to you how to do it going downwards which is pretty simple enough it will take a little bit of getting used to as i said if you have any struggles just use the power floor trick so now i'm going to show you how to go back up so going back up is a bit more difficult but what we're going to do is we're just going to expand out here a little bit just to give ourselves a bit more space uh, we'll get rid of all of that lot up there as well there we go that's nice and flat now that should be all good okay so same process or similar process to as before we need to find the middle which we know is there and then what we're going to do is we're going to mark the middle with a power floor and then we want to place another power floor on top and go forward one and then what we want to do is we want to just aim down at this one and that will increase the first bit and we want to go power floors again in front and then we want to just look down at the one in front and we just want to repeat this process again so sometimes this can be a little bit more difficult sometimes i actually find going up a little bit easier than it is going down so it's going to carry on the process here and there we go after going up for a while we'll just get rid of all of these and we can showcase how it looks so as you can see going up we can do exactly the same thing so there we are put some lights down so we can actually see and as you can see going up is a nice big long slope as well so it's all nice and smooth and none of the horrible jankiness. Now the reason why I like taking the extra time to do them like this is for things like stairs. They work really well on here. So I just showcase these just like this. So as you see it does look kind of nice having them just like that. And it also works good for the monorail tracks as well. Just makes it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So for the bonus little tip in regards to building and making things look a bit a little bit more pleasing to the eye i've made a small little room for you and this basically focuses more on rooms so instead of having a nice flat roof like this which is a little bit boring we're going to make it look a bit interesting so first of all we need to grab our mole and we need to find the centers of the corners so using the same process as before we want to find the center which we know is about there and we're just going to place a power floor down and we'll do that for each individual corner and that will basically show us and indicate to us where the centers are going to be for the corners now we've found our centers what we want to do is we want to go up one level but in a diagonally one and we want to do a ring around the whole area just like this and we're going to use, be using a similar process to how we did the ramps and what we're going to do is just come here 
just up one level and we just want to aim at this corner and then we just want to follow the process all the way around so I just want to go around literally like this molding the ceiling with our inner ring so there we go as you can see now we are starting to have a nice curved roof which is definitely better than the boring flat roof before so we want to go in and up one again and we want to make another inner ring just like this now another thing you can do is change the size on your mole to make the vaulted roof a bit tighter definitely it will depend on basically the size of your room i'm just doing it like this for showcase purposes so be sure to have a play around and see what works for you guys so same process again we just want to look at this corner to start with and then we can just go all the way around so once you've done building up and going more to the center it should look something a little bit like this we'll just get rid of all of these we'll just get rid of all of this lot there we go okay so it should look a little bit like that which to me looks a lot better than your boring flat wall makes the room feel a lot more spacious so there we go everyone that's how you build nice smooth slopes going up or down and making your rooms look a bit more aesthetically pleasing so if you liked the video and found it helpful make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos it's been Kryptonite here thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one